Like, I'll, I'll stop it, Sandy! Just I'll stop it's my first time! Shut up, bitch! Take it! Take it! Bro, we good. There's just thousands of people just waiting for Yo, you I'm right just text, now. I'm just, just texting Bay right now, bro. You don't have no Bay? Man, I got Bay. You got a lot of side hoes, they no Bay. I got Bay. Alright. Apparently he's got Bay. No, I don't. I ain't got that. Uh, injury reserve driver, like it's go, go, stolen. <laughs> um, that's what they restart really it. Re it. Restart. That was no skirt, skirts. I'm kidding. Let's go. Skirt, skirt. Um, <laughs> skirt, skirt. Look, it, I'm, I'm ashamed that we're getting to this so late after their release date. But you know, we've been fucking for injury reserve for a while. You know. Yeah, man. I I put on a shit while fucking. And then, yeah, and, have and you then, actually? Yo, yo, and the girls be like. Yo, this shit dope. I'm like, shut up, y'all. I'm trying to get nut. It's just like, that's disrespectful to Jules. And I'm like, you're right, baby. I'm sorry. And we just start kissing passionately. And then you reserve. You were there for that. All right. Um, yeah, man, we've been, we've been following, <laughs> listening to the music for a while ever since we're on radio and big fan of their music and uh, completely... <sighs> They're just refreshing, really. It's just a refreshing and underground kind of hip hop group. North Pole was the one we reviewed, yeah, which was one of the tracks before for the EP, yeah, and total sort of different style for what we've heard for going into the CP compared to what we've heard on Floss, softer, more atmospheric, and live and then soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's, I, I'm hoping for something very similar because I want to. I just want to see what else Injury Reserve can do. And I think in leading up to this, they, I believe they said on the in the interview um, that. They're trying to make something a little different. They're trying to always reinvent their sound slightly and come out with a with a different kind of tone. Which is what I love to see in artists, man. I'm paraphrasing, so excuse me if I'm getting it wrong, guys. Uh, you know, th and also thank you guys for your support of us. Like, you know, uh, it's appreciated that you even guys like pay attention and even like engage, mm. willing to engage with us. It's, it's always cool to have that communication. Yeah, man, really uh, appreciate it. So we'll always support you as long as you make dope music and be like good decent human beings who uh who are great and when you come to australia we will wholeheartedly support you and do the best we can to um whether it be help you find a venue or help you get hundreds of people to your shows we'll do our best also whatever you want me to wear be it a onesie be it a paper bag i give a fuck i will wear that shit for you i will embarrass myself for you because i like to do that driver like a stolen track one ten tenths let's fucking go See you work, need a lurk. It's all gangs in the dirt, they all lanes in the first. What's the issue? You were saying I'm too smooth. Little me, I ain't playing with you. Little me, you don't play by the rule. I was sitting on a whole different view. Getting new ways in a whole different view. See you work, need a lurk. It's all gangs in the dirt. They all lanes in the first. What's the issue? You was the first move. You were saying so I must have missed you. So double broke being an issue. Those good old days are on me. Pretty fucking good intro. I love the fucking production build up. The layering of it? Yeah, building, layering building, stuff. Building. Real cool. You know who would fucking kill that beat? Push it T. Because Push T is great over that minimalistic building production. Right. Like numbers on the board, nostalgia, <laughs> lunch money. <laughs> All that shit, man. And also, I got a bit of a... Have you heard 212 by Azalea Banks? Yes. I've got like... Ooh, okay. The first half of that, the way that she raps, like... Just the bounciness of it. The bounciness and just the way that she sort of raps over that. I got big feels from that sort of track. Obviously not the more EDM second half of it, but like the first half. It really reminded me of that. Because like, you know how she goes, I can be the Denston. Yeah. It's like the slower version of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got feels like that from there. Um, but fuck yeah, that was that was dope as fuck. And we ain't never I heard like the voice like alteration. that. Like, I can't pin my put my finger on what that sounds like, but I've heard that sound before, and I, I've heard it somewhere. Like, I'm talking decades ago. Like, I'm talking maybe seventies, eighties, nineties. I don't know, but it almost sounds seductive to me, like alluring. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah, like, yeah. It has a feel that makes you feel it's like... It's not Whoa. loud. It's kind of whispering. It's kind of it's dirty. Kind of, yeah. Kind of... It's weird to say that, but like, I'm kind of getting that vibe. It's like you're looking at your cousin and you like get a boner, but you shouldn't get that boner. No? Cool. 
See you sweat. Motherfucking what? what? I can't do like the drop noise, but can you do like the whole like? Drop? Nah, I ain't got that skill set. Yeah. I'm... Yeah. You know what? You know what you said about the first track? I had that um, what? Seductive. Seductiveness to it. It continued with that track. That and that dirtiness too. Like that was a fucking dirty motherfucking track. Man. That's that's the th thank you. Just continuing the theme. That's dirty as fuck. The first two tracks definitely have a very similar. Thing. And it also remind me, you know, at the end there where he was all like. When he was whispering, it reminded me of that song that like, um, was it was it David Banner, the whistle song maybe? I don't know that. Fuck. Oh, I can't remember if it was that. There was definitely a song that was like, like the oh, the whisper song. I know. It just, I can't remember the fuck it was, but it gave me a bit of feel like to that, which is like way back in like fucking early 2000s or mid 2000s. God damn! Um, that was really impressive. That was a real fucking I've good never tune. heard them make something like that before. In fact, I Ooh. haven't heard something like that in a while, I you don't know. You know what's really when. good is that, like, judging, for hearing that production, I could, is, I could, if someone, if I heard that production without knowing who they, like, without hearing their vocals, I could be like, oh, it sounds like injury reserve sort of production, because hmm. I it had that sort of like, it just still felt like it was them. Mm -hmm. So for them to be able to like keep like to their sound, but also like have this different effect in a way, is big. That's a great. That's just how I feel. Yeah, I'm fucking with this. Is that going on the diced pineapples? Is that going on the fucking pineapples? Oh, shit. Shit. Nah, man. I feel like I feel like if you were getting to this, you'd be like, you'd get too rough, bro. You couldn't handle you. You couldn't handle it, man. I feel like just, you just feel like, oh, slap it. You'd be like, oh, I'll oh, stop it, Sandy. Just, I'll stop it. It's my first time. Shut up, bitch. Take it. Take it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nice man. Accurate. I ain't like this, mom. <laughs> Oh, that drip though. Oh, see, it's just... It? And they cut the beat as well when yeah. it comes in. Such mm. a simple little effect. Mm. Just to add that in. Add in like real life... Mu oh, atm atmosphere. Oh, fuck it, I can't talk. You got, you got me fucked up. Oh, man. My Sorry if I ain't dancing either. Like, my hay fever is so bad that I'm like... I'm cloudy as fuck, yo. 91 Cadillac DeVille. DeVille, DeVille. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is my type of shit, bro. Oh damn, man. Check it. Damn, I ain't seen you in a minute. I know I need a cut, man. Why are you trying to hear it? Go, it's gonna be. Go, it's gonna be. Go, it's gonna be. Love one, two, three, four. I one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Uh, yeah, my first car was a Cadillac. 
91 to veil, I wish I got it back. Paid in full, couldn't tell me a damn thing. That's just what grain, pay me champagne. Ask mama if I should cop, she said, hell no. No, I feel that was the, the, the most average of the tracks. I actually really fucking love the beat because I love that sort of production, but I feel like the... I just feel like because the last the last two tracks, because they had that real dirtiness to them, it didn't need to be more than it was, like the minimalistic sort of work for it. But for this track, I feel like the beat needed to switch up a bit more. And also the hook I felt was pretty pretty meh. Because the hook was just sort of like... Digger with a digger with a one, two, three. And I, I just... I, I really feel, feel that's what they were going for. But for me, like it's sort of like... I just got a little bit, a little bored with it, but I fucking still love the production on there. Yeah, yeah, the production sh shone on that, mm. but lyric. Uh, oh no, I feel like the verses were still on point. The, okay, that was, that, that was the, give me a word. The verses shit. weren't as engaging to me um, from a from a uh, energy perspective, um, and I think if you layer back the production a little bit, it's why the first two tracks were so punchy because the production was layered back real. Um, minimalistic and you could hear the lyrics punch out from it and it just hit so well with this one i don't know it just felt a bit more flat i still feel the verses were really good like i feel um i mean it's a good track but it's not like it didn't hit us like the other ones that's all i guess this is like the maybe like this is going to be the transitioning to the the tracks more like north pole like yeah. maybe the because how many tracks are on the cp it's like seven or something yeah so i feel like maybe they start off with a bank like not like you know them tracks and this is like transitioning into more a different style they're fucking with which we've heard of north pole and uh, the next one is boom x3 or times three whatever they mean it could be like one of those smiley faces with like the eyes closed and like making like the cat face maybe <laughs> Maybe, you know when someone said maybe, and they don't really agree with you, maybe, well you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> first this title track i mean the the track was definitely boom times three and not boom with the smiley face with the cat face so like within the first line <laughs> Got so wrong. Sorry. wrong uh secondly that motherfucking slaps holy motherfucking shit here i was thinking it was going to transition into some more other shit fuck nah man another fucking banger holy fucking shit that was dope i love i love the production there i love the energy on there I love the hook on this thing. The verses are really fucking deep too. Like everything about this track was fucking great. That's just how I feel. A dollar might just fuck your main bitch. That's just how I feel. I'm noticing that, you know, I feel like it would be easy to just continue to make what they made um, with floss and try and pump out more sounds like that, right? A great, uh, one of the best albums of 2016. But instead here, they're still creating hard-hitting, memorable tracks while reinventing themselves yeah. sonically. Because I was thinking to myself, if you put this on Floss, I don't think it fit in. I feel like it's definitely got into reserve sound, but like, I just can't see it fit. Like, it's, it's weird. Like, it, it's, it's, it's still their sound, but they just do it, and they're still making heavy-hitting tracks, but in a different way. Now, do you notice, I don't know if it's a hook or a chorus or whatever, um, but... 
where Richie, or maybe Stepper as well at the same time, maybe they blended the the, the um, lyrics together, but um, it was like angry, like da 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 before the boom boom boom. Hmm. Did you hear that kind of like? Oh yeah, I think it was blended on the hook, but Stepper did the um the most of the booms, if not all the booms. <laughs> but did the booms. I, I I don't remember hearing them like that, like that aggressive, like that um in that time oh, of tonality. Man. Even that that beat like was just like. Bruh. Just continuing to like so the next one, the next one is that was great. The next one is North Pole. Which oh, I've heard. Trying to be found and I'm not the type to go and use a GPS. Let the Lincoln take the kid away like CPS. I love that J line talking about CBS. I've been doing the same since so I can CBS. Man, the same swan song. You can go and save the tissues. Like so many were there when I was dealing with my issues. Fucking up. Hey, how you doing? I know it's been a minute since we talked, but man, how you been? Seeing dad at the barbershop and shit, it felt like you, kid. Never realized how much he looked like you, shit. Man, I swear it was around when Kendrick had dropped all D. Man, I wish the pills they make you fucking. Hold up. Going through my phone and I still got you in my contacts. I wish that I could call it, you could call back. Maybe pass my pops the phone, yo. Yeah. So I can hear him. Everyone says I sound just like him, but shit, man, I don't hear it. I yeah, man, it's just, it's just as beautiful as the first time we heard it. Oh, I heard it. I think it's better. Yeah. I remember when I first heard it, like, I think there was a few things that I wasn't sure on. Like, maybe it might be one of the verses or maybe the beat wasn't feeling it. But now hear it in context with the EP, I think it works really fucking beautifully. I and agree. I've definitely grown to... Love the verses even more and just really, really fucking love this song. I agree, man. Yeah. You know? It's a grower, man. Check out the music video if you haven't seen it. Um, Real really dope music video. Add some, um, add some extra context to the track. Uh, I'd love yeah. to talk to, to them about this track in specifics. Mm. About um, exploring its theme and, and loss and self-awareness of... Yeah, we talk a lot more about what we think about on this track in that video. So if you want to yeah. check that out, check it. But make sure you come back to this. I just click this and see you later. You got to come back to this, <laughs> you know. I don't know what the fuck you think Bad this is. You should leave and just not come back. Oh, man. Next track. Shit. Can I guess what it's called? Yeah. Is it called... Uh, oh, shit. Is it called Bust a Nut? No, it's called Colors. You're close. Now I've been loose and Sandra Blair was murdered in jail And we know black and browns ain't living as well All things ain't pink, bro, the grass gets green Who said we below the habits, we ain't living in hell But now I've been loose and spikes, so I cuffed it harder Have my pants on, sag jeans cuffed up for the starters Always against the grain, unless you cut in your hair, my nigga That's how a nigga loses ways, it's hard to look around So we ain't living in hell, and I've been blue since the last day yeah, that's my favorite track so far. Really? I love the, I love the production on there. I love that way that it flows the whole way through with the same sort of like the flow with what they're talking about, like it just, it just, it just, as a fucking whole package, it just fucking works, man. Usually, like songs that repeat themselves, like cadence wise, it's I get bored miss. of, but this one is not one of them. It's just, I just feel like it just suits what the, the tone of everything, man. Like, like cohesive, sonically, extremely, so far. And just like, oh, I, I like, just got fucking lost in there, man. Just that rattling production. Exploring the theme oh. of race and color. So there's more themes. Yeah. More themes to dive in there. More more ideas, but production wise, sound wise, it's got it. I'm sorry, I'm so out of it, guys. Otherwise, I'd remember more. Every sitting on a pot of gold. 
you kinda bold, you more like pimping in a minor role. Regardless, keep your chin up and your chest out. Take it day by day, get your breath, figure the rest out. I remember way back when, when we were hella stressed out. Now I got my feet up and my legs are stretched out. Smoking too much, got my chest looking caved in. Looking in the mirror like nobody can save him. Started popping off and had nothing to say then. If you don't like it, get the fuck to make it profit. You gotta do you, bro. Right now. Ain't nothing gon' stop shit. It's like a celebration every time that we drop shit. After floss, they were like, I ain't gotta top it. Leave them wanting more to eat it up when we drop it. You ain't gotta like us, but the hustle, you can't knock it. Right Ask around to know that we been popping. You can hear the influence. You know that they jockin'. Ain't nobody can take away the hours that we clockin'. Is that real? Is that, is that what that actually faded out? I thought my phone fucking up. Nah, that's a fade out, man. Is that a fade out? That's a... Oh, that track's a banger. That track's great too. Shit, what a what a nice outro. I thought that was, that was weird. I thought that was gonna keep going. Really good outro, but I feel like it might have to do with them because I've just said like um we've come a long way since live at the dentist office, and also they say we can't top floss, and then it sort of like fades away as if maybe like like we don't want to fade away sort of thing. Or, but what I can say about this, the quality of this EP, you could have done like, say, one, two, three more tracks and called this an album, and it would be album worthy. Oh yeah. Like you, you could honestly call this an album, really. Well, an EP is in a way, but like you, I feel like obviously you did it for a reason. You, you didn't feel the need to make more for this, but like, you could because this there's quality all over this. It's extremely cohesive. That uh, let's just touch on that last track real quick. The last mm. track was like kind of reflecting on their past success. Yeah. Yep. Kind of where they've been through, the journey, where they are man. now, you know, which is really interesting to hear. Mm. You got any more comments you want to place on that? Um, I love the, the production on this album, man. I'd, I'd like it's to, always I'd, a big thing for me with Injury Reserve. I love how it starts off like quite bouncy, like dirty, yeah, seductive, but then it comes comes to a stage where it's a bit more experimentalism going on than it, another hard hitting one. And you've got like two or three tracks where they're talking like a bit more heavier sort of stuff. So, but it's still cohesive from. Oh, bro, very cohesive. I, I enjoy this just I, I, I enjoy this just as much as I enjoyed Floss. Really? Just yeah. as much. Just as much, man. Yeah. Just as much. Because there's no filler. Yeah. 100%. There is no filler whatsoever. Nah. Every track has a purpose and a place. Mm hmm And I don't think I've ever... Have you ever heard a filler track from Injury Reserve? Was there anything I didn't like on Floss? I think we'd have to go to live at the dentist's office to, if we really wanted to be picky. Yeah. Oh, fuck, man. But, um, hey, once again, guys, like, Yo. fucking... Like, great job. Like, you guys are continuing to reinvent yourself in creative ways and mm. push the boundaries within your scope, within your your box of who you are without trying to be something that you're not or trying to, I don't know. Really staying true to who you are and really making beautiful names for independent artists out there doing your thing. Like, where, the, it was, yeah. where, do they, where do you go from... Everyone asks, like, where do you go from now? What now? What next? They're like, everyone's... what they're doing, man. Like just keep building a fan base. Keep, keep like I don't know. Keep putting your like whatever you're making towards what you're doing and just helping other people get. To, I mean, I'm sure that Injury Reserve have way more dreams than just just making music, man. Um, like, yeah, they definitely want to do more within the scope of things. And really. more power to them, you know. It's yeah. now three projects, three high quality projects. Indeed, man. Right. Um. And I'm like, fuck, man. It was really hard to avoid like looking up spoilers. Just like we we waited a few months to listen to this shit. Like almost, it was yeah. pretty hard, man. It was pretty hard. <laughs> I'm glad we waited and got I'm glad to we it. waited too because this was this is definitely worth. I mean, I, w I wish I was in a better mind state for it, but I still feel like I really appreciate it, enjoyed it. Yeah, you guys did your thing. Yeah, I can't wait for you guys come tour here. You know, we will be there front row supporting you 100,000 percent. Motherfucker. I think I, I wouldn't geez. even be mad if you if they didn't make an album for the next two years. I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be like, all right, cool. You want to go live your life? Uh, get this strip club. Fuck some some groupies. Yeah. I wouldn't even be mad though. We would, I think they've dropped enough content for yeah. me to be happy with for two years. But I mean, I wouldn't be mad if you dropped an album this year. Still, uh, like, no, nah, I feel like they'll come back next year, mid mid to the yeah, end of next sure. year. They'll they'll drop some heat. You know, hey, great job once again. If you, don't, mm. you know, that's it. Really, good. check out that previous work. If you, if you're not on injury reserve, you need to them. Check out that previous work. You made this out. Check out that previous work. One hundred percent. She's there. She's there. Everybody knows. Jungle saying. Beats Media. We out here. Um, 
Yeah, make sure you hit subscribe. If, if you come all the way to this video and you're not subscribed, that's a grave Did you mistake. Say if you come over all this video? Yeah, exactly. Oh, cool. You know, if you've come all over this video to this point and you haven't hit the subscribe button, like, uh, I would really appreciate it just so you know when we drop the videos and just so we know that you enjoy our stuff. Ah. You should go berserk, get busy, I'ma make it work, get busy. Yeah, let me talk my shit. <laughs> From a college dorm to a sweet and chilly, getting drink tickets in my Mishka hoodie to a max monster.